1979. What were you doing in 1979? I was like one year old, so I probably wasn't doing much, but it was probably pretty damn cute. And there was some crazy ass fashion, some crazy ass music, and some good and bad television. So, uh, and something else that was happening in 1979 was this bottle of Jack Daniels that we're going to try tonight was bottled. So, yeah, probably six or seven years before that, you're back into early 70s when it was distilled. And we're going to put it up against the modern Jack Daniels old number seven and see if anything's changed, see which one's better, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So, yeah. This is an old bottle. I was born in 78, so this has got to be 45 year old Jack Daniels. Look at this crazy shit that went on back there. Oh man. But I am old enough to remember a couple of those things. I'm pretty sure I had that Atari. Uh, back in the day, they had the old tax stamp, all very official. That's not a thing of the past. Don't get that anymore. Color looks pretty the same, but let's try these things out. Okay, so I did record all this at Prater's house the other night, but the video was a fuck up. So we're doing it again. Yeah, we're doing it now. So 1979, Jack Daniels. Um, basically, for the first time in a long time, I had tried some old number seven, the modern stuff. Had a very peanutty note, uh, very sort of banana and peanut shell. Uh, not not great not as bad as i thought right like i, I think um not as bad as even the jack daniel 7 that people have been raving about so but hey i'm a jack fan um and i i could probably sip on it if i had to but it is better with coke uh that's where it shines so anyway so long story short we did prefer this this has a much different nose and much different on the palette than the modern Jack Daniels number seven. This one actually has a dusty note, which I was quite surprised about. I didn't know whether or not it would, being there's Jack Daniels and different processes, no cork. So there's no like cork mold or anything going on here, but it still has that dusty note and it has a, just a much better nose. It's got way more, way more caramel flavor. Uh, no banana, no peanut shell, just a, just a really nice, you know, smooth vanilla caramel flavor on the nose. So it's, it's pretty pale. Uh, it's definitely nothing to write home about in the color side of things, but let's try it on the palette. Yeah, it's honestly not bad. You know, it is, uh, it's definitely not, it's not the greatest whiskey for sipping whiskey, but it is so much better than modern number seven. It's smooth. This is 90 proof and you can sort of, the modern one is 80 proof and you can sort of, it felt way more watery. This has a way better mouth feel, I think because of that extra 10 proof, but there isn't a huge amount of burn. There isn't a huge amount of, uh, you know, ethanol. It's just, it's really nice. It's really good. Now, I think it's because um, you have all these other Jack Daniels special releases, right? Which all used to get poured into old number seven. They only had one. It was only going to be one thing. It all went in here. Now they divide it out into their single barrels and their barrel barrel proofs and their Koi Hills. Well, back in the day, that all had to go into number seven. Okay, so now this is a store pick. Um, single barrel so a little bit up than the than the standard one. Oh, heavy banana really sweet heavy banana but so not really i don't have <laughs> i bought a little plastic hip flask of all number seven but i left it at praters because i don't really want it um so maybe that was a bit of a mistake because i have to redo the video but but i think <clears throat> the thing that makes jack daniel so good in coke there's also the thing that makes it not too good to sip, right? It's that bite. It's the, it's that Jack flavor that just really, it's a really bitey, bitterness um, that, that isn't great for sipping, but 
goes well in coke. And it's got it like that tastes like a Jack and Coke. This does not taste like a Jack and Coke. So, so there you go. Like, I think this dusty old Jack Daniels would be a sippable, sippable whiskey. Very sippable. Um, but in Coke, yeah, it's probably once again, it's actually probably not bad, but it's just not a Jack and Coke. It's just not. And that's the thing about Jim Beam and Coke and, and other whiskies and Coke. They're, they're fine. They're probably better, but they're not a Jack and Coke. And there's just something about Jack and Coke. Even this is not a Jack and Coke. This has way too much, way too much banana on the nose. It's like ethyl acetate, something like that. I'm gonna do a, do a thing about that. But anyway, um, yeah. So should have kept the Jack Daniels on number seven, but uh, I think. Dusty Jack, totally good. Totally on the dusty list of things to get. 1979, I'd love a 1978. 1978 single barrel would be even better. Uh, so that's what I'm hunting. Um, now does it stand up to some of the, you know, for example, this is a Taster, High Angels series Taster. Now, does it, is this more similar? It sort of is, you know. Yeah, it really is like this. This high angel share, the the 2018 uh, uh, Jack Daniel's Taster, is is got a very similar note. Let's let's have a go. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's got coconut in it anyway, hasn't it? But. <laughs> um, Try this. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, I would say that is a. That's what I thought before. This this high angel shear, which is a slightly different Jack Daniels. It's uh, not available, but it is closer to this than the modern number seven is by far. So, anyway, uh, yeah, Dusty seem to be where it's at. Um, I'm not always 100% on the dusty train but maybe 80% on the dusty train that things just seem to be a little bit better back in the day and they have slightly better flavors um, definitely against its uh, old number seven sibling it is uh, definitely up there now does this stand up to, to some of the special releases no like Koi Hill and the single barrels could just blow it out of the water so there's a fine line there, right? Like the bottom shelf dusties are not as good for me as medium or top shelf modern whiskies. But bottom shelf is better than bottom shelf uh, and dusty top shelf is better than modern top shelf. So anyway, that's it. Take two on this video. Uh, I'm gonna try and get this out. And if you guys are looking for some sweet as fuck house bourbon Glens or house bourbon stickers i will put the lick link in the description I and mean, maybe like here or here or somewhere uh, and uh, buy them up got about 40 of these left so get in quick on the glens and the stickers are unlimited um so yeah plast them all over and we're probably gonna get some shirts and hats and t-shirts later on so anyway uh carry on I'm gonna try and fix the camera situation too. I have ordered a new camera, which should help with the whole, this shit. I've been using my phone up until now and it has some upsides and some downsides. So hopefully my new camera will sort that out, but all more expenses. Add it to the expenses of the bill. <laughs> like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.